the solution to this example. So the first thing we want to do is get the fixed amount, this item here, based on the 65,000. Note that the salary doesn't exist in the band, so we're going to have to try and find in between there. So the function we're going to use is a VLOOKUP. We're looking up the 65,000 in this table here. So I'm going to highlight it all and put my dollar signs on. In this case, the column index number we want is the fixed, so it's column 1, 2. And the range lookup is true because we know that not every salary that we can possibly have is in this table. So Excel needs to do a bit of placement. So when I say OK, it tells me the fixed amount is zero. That seems to look correct. Copy it down. Let's just check one of them. So someone earning 411,000 sits over there. So it should be about 97,000. There's the 97,000. Same thing, we now need to pull through this percentage. So again, we're going to use a VLOOKUP. What's the lookup value? Where's the table array? What's the column index number? In this case, one, two, three. And again, it's true. When we say OK, we can pull through the percentages. Just be careful when you set this up. Very common error that people have is instead of looking up the salary, they actually start looking up the fixed amount. Try and always refer back to the original data. The last thing we need to do is work out the lower limit. So this is to figure out that the 65,000 was sitting here and we determined that band. You'll see why we need that shortly. So if we look up, look up the salary, what's the table array? We can highlight all three, even though in this case we only actually want column one. And again, it's an approximate. So we put a true in and we can copy it down. Now we have all the information we need. This is just a, a calculation method. So how much are we going to use the percentage on? Well, the percentage gets used on the difference between your salary minus the band you fall into, that lower limit. I'll just copy and paste that. The actual percentage, so the amount you're going to pay because of the percentage is going to be this difference multiplied by the percentage to use. Copy and paste that down. The fixed base, so we don't really need this, but just to put them next to each other, I'm just going to say equals to that amount, just so that we can see them nicely next to each other. And the total then must be equal to that plus that. And with luck, it gives us exactly the correct number. We can now work out what this should be.